going to be setting up a script that's going to go through our Gmail and copy all of the attachments that we have within our Google Gmail and then create a folder within the drive and copy those files into the drive. And that's all going to be done with App Script. Let's go ahead and we're going to create our first function and this is going to be make folder and what we're going to be doing on drive. So it's making a folder within our drive and this is going to be just using the drive app service. So the folder and then the drive app and we want to create a folder and the folder that we want to create is going to be the attachments. So we want to get the attachments from our email, uh, iterate through them and return those back and copy those files into this attachments folder. So now that we've created the folder, it's really easy to create the folder. We want to copy those files into the folder. And we can do that just the same way that we've done where we're getting the attachments. So let's go ahead and we'll get all of the attachments back from the threads in the emails. So looking through the threads and then within the Gmail app service, do a search and the search content that we're searching for is going to be just has attachment. So it's going to return back those files that have the attachment. So we're searching has attachment. And right now we're not going to create the folder quite yet. So I'll comment that out. And we want to go through all of those and simply return back the attachments that are within the messages. And the attachments can just be an array that we'll add them into. So going through the threads, go through for each and return it back as a thread. And then the threads have messages, so that's the array. And then we loop through each one of those and return it back as a message. So we get to the point where we're getting the Gmail messages back. And at this point, now we can get the attachments from the messages. And the attachments as well, they're going to be an array. So we can do another one where we've got the message and we want to get the attachments. And that's another method. And then we want to loop through and get each attachment individually so that we can make use of it. Instead of logging out the message, let's log out the attachment object. So this is going to be an object and this should give us all of the Gmail attachments. And once we've got the attachment, now we can get some data and details from that attachment object. So we'll go ahead and create a file. And this could be our file object. And we can use the folder where we create a file. And then within the file, we've got the attachment. And the attachment is going to be as an object. And we can do a copy of the blob object. And this is also where we can set the name as we're creating the file, or we can set the name afterwards. So the we can get the name of the item in order to set the name. So let's uh, save that as we're going through. And there's our drive, there's our attachments. And now it's copying all of the attachments into that attachments folder as it's looping through. And then we can use the attachments array. We can push if we want the attachment names into that array. And then at the end, let's uh, log out in the logger the attachments so that we can see that we've got all of the files that were added and created. We've got all of the files within the array that are output so we can see what was attached. And we can get rid of that log as well. Go through your Gmail get the attachments and then add the attachments, save them all to the drive. And this is going to search all of the Gmail. So any Gmails that you have that do have attachments, they get tracked 